Let's go five RB counter, five RB counter, double team right there up to that backer. Double Brighton team, Bengals head football double. coach Randolph Abraham is a stickler for details. His play calling is complex. Trips right open, zip. 99 jet. And his instructions are precise. I want you guys to blow this kid up because we need to get movement. We get this movement, then look at the size of the hole, then climb up to the backer. But before the 2016 season, Abraham's coaching style wasn't the only complicated aspect of the Brighton Bengals football program. Since the 1980s, the Bengals have been a football gridiron orphan. After their former practice field next to the Charles River in Brighton fell into disrepair. The Bengals then bounced around to different practice facilities until 1998, when they settled on Cassidy Field in Cleveland Circle, a less than ideal location for football drills and scrimmages. That feels just, oh my God, it's just un unbearable. You know, holes, you know, we have geese feces all over the place. There's like a lot of rocks, holes, there's like hills, it's, un it's uneven. It was always difficult to find out which way was straight. The lines were never straight. Um, it's just dealing with the elements. It was just not an uh, ideal situation. To make matters worse, private spaces for the Bengals to change into their pads were few and far between. And when I played, we changed outside. Whether it was rain, snow, doesn't matter. We had to change outside, you know, in the middle of, you know, the field. Home games were also an adventure for the Bengals. Each Friday, Bright would have to leave school hours before game time make the crosstown trek to Boston English, and then years later, White Stadium. Well, we're very thankful to all the city you know, teams and White Stadium for allowing us to play. And we would have to leave kind of like right after school and try to beat the traffic, wait a few hours before the game, hope to get a locker room because they're doing double headers. Playing games at White Stadium, it's old, it has history behind it. Everybody that played there, my dad played there, but I just wanted to play on our own field, a place that we can call home. But over the last handful of seasons, Word began to trickulate through the Bengal community that a brand new field was in the works. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it until last year, around November, Coach Abraham told me, hey, it's real. And I'll be honest with you, I still didn't believe it until I came out here physically and I saw him doing construction. The Brighton community teamed up with Simmons College, who began leasing the Daily Field Athletic Complex, the former home of the Brighton Bengals. Simmons then financed a $13.5 million refurbishing of the Daily Field Athletic Complex that they would then share with Brighton High School after the completion of the renovation. At uh, first we just wanted to, you know, get some grass on here, let us play some games, and it turned into an amazing partnership between Brighton High School, the Brighton Community, and Simmons College. And well, Simmons is doing a great job. You know, first of all, I want to thank them for putting this together for us. and. Um, just working with us, you know, they have a maintenance group here, they take care of the field. And in the summer of 2016, the Brighton Bengals coaches and players were able to walk on to their very own home football field for the first time. Oh man, I shed a tear. I did, it was beautiful, you know. You know, for putting in all this work as a player, and as a coach, we finally have a place to call home. Yeah, I couldn't wait, I couldn't wait to just come out here and just start practicing, start running on the field. It got to a point where I just come out here with just shoes and, shoes and socks and just start running over the field because I was just excited. The new daily field comes fully equipped to serve the needs of the Bengals football program. Whether it be the new locker room for the Bengals to occupy. Here, we change the inside with his heat now, running water and bathrooms. With a state-of-the-art organic turf that Brighton now practices on. No rocks, no slipping on nothing, no hills. It's just flat, nice and even. What I was told, when I went to several meetings at Simmons, is there's a pat, uh, a padding right underneath the turf, the grass, and it actually prevents the concussions. It's supposed to reduce concussions something like 50%. And that's why, again, it's great practice in here, as, as opposed to Cassidy. That's where we would have our concussions at practice, where here it's like the kids can go and get taken to the ground and they bounce right back up because of the foam underneath the turf. In addition to its brand new amenities, Daly Field sits less than a mile from Brighton High and provides an accessible venue for members of the Brighton High School community. When we go out fundraising, people ask us, like, where's the field at? And we used to say at White Stadium, but now we just say uh, at Daily Field. Now a lot of people from our school can come out, people from the community are coming out. Uh, we have these, these stands packed. Now that we're here, people coming home from work, go home, take a walk, five minute walk down the street, you're right here. But as these Bengals relish in their newly minted football residence, 
They will be sure to remember the decades of players and coaches who had to sacrifice before them. I'm definitely thankful for the teams in the past for having this field because they helped build this. On opening night, when my brothers came out and they saw that the dream was reality, they couldn't believe it either. You know, they were happy that we finally had a place to call home. Many of them don't even, you know, they, a lot of the new kids don't know what it felt like to be in geese, um, poop, and practice football, but you know, this is everybody's field, you know, all the Bengals. Nice job! Nice job.